My dearly beloved child, hear me now, for I come to you with an urgent message, a divine broadcast of such paramount importance that it demands your undivided attention and immediate response. This is not a mere suggestion or a gentle whisper. It is a clarion call from the very heart of God. An emergency broadcast that cannot be ignored or taken lightly. For the consequences of turning a deaf ear are grave beyond measure, with eternal ramifications that will resound throughout the ages, from the dawn of creation. I have loved you with an everlasting love, a love so deep and so wide that it transcends the boundaries of human comprehension. You are the object of my affection, the apple of my eye, and the crown jewel of my creation. I have fashioned you in my image, knitting you together with intricate care, breathing life into your being, and imbuing you with a purpose that far surpasses the fleeting moments of this world. Yet, sin that insidious force, that ancient foe has marred my perfect design, creating a chasm between us, a divide so vast that it cannot be bridged by human effort alone. The enemy, that deceitful serpent, has sought to deceive you, to lead you astray, and to separate you from the very source of life and love, the wellspring of your existence. But in my infinite mercy and grace, I have devised a plan, a masterful orchestration of redemption that spans the ages, a plan that culminated in the incarnation of my Son, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. He who knew no sin became sin for you, bearing the weight of your transgressions upon his shoulders. Through his sacrificial death on the cross, he paid the debt you could never repay, shattering the chains of sin and death that held you captive in darkness. And on the third day, he rose from the grave, triumphant over the power of death, opening the way for you to experience new life, a life eternal, a life abundant, a life filled with the very presence of the living God a life of unending joy and fellowship with your Heavenly Father, my child. This is the emergency broadcast that demands your attention, an urgent call that cannot be ignored. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. He is the only means by which you can be reconciled to me, the only path that leads to eternal life and everlasting joy. He is the door, the gate, and the narrow way that leads to life everlasting. Do not ignore this urgent call, for the consequences of rejection are dire beyond imagination. The wages of sin is death, an eternal separation from the source of all life and love. But the gift of God, freely given, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Choose life, my beloved child. Choose to embrace the one who laid down his life for you. The one who endured the agonies of the cross so that you might be set free from the shackles of sin and death. This emergency broadcast is not a mere invitation. It is a command from the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the sovereign ruler of the universe, the one before whom every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Jesus himself is commanding you to hear this now, for the time is short and the urgency is great. The world around you is fading, but the Word of God stands firm, unchanging, and eternal, a solid foundation upon which you can build your life. So, heed this call, and come to Him with a humble heart. Lay down your burdens at His feet, and allow Him to clothe you in His righteousness. Surrender your will to His, and let him guide you into the abundant life he has prepared for you. A life filled with purpose, meaning, and the very presence of the living God. A life of eternal significance and unending joy. Do not be deceived by the lies of the enemy, who seeks to blind your eyes to the truth and lead you down the path of destruction. Do not be lulled into complacency by the fleeting pleasures of this world, for they will ultimately leave you empty and unfulfilled grasping at shadows and chasing after the wind. Instead, fix your gaze upon Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith, 
the one who has gone before you and paved the way to eternal life. Trust in him, and he will lead you through the valleys of darkness and into the glorious realms of everlasting light, where every tear will be wiped away and sorrow will be no more. Hear this emergency broadcast and heed its urgent call, for in doing so, you will find the path to everlasting joy, peace, and fellowship with the one who loved you from the foundations of the world. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore, guiding you, sustaining you, and empowering you to walk in the light of his truth. Ignore this message at your own peril. For to reject the gift of salvation is to embrace eternal separation from the source of all life and love. But embrace it with all your heart, and you will experience the fullness of life, the richness of love, and the eternal security of being called a child of God, a co-heir with Christ, destined to reign with Him in glory forevermore. Heed this urgent call, my beloved child, for in doing so, you will find the way, the truth, and the life that transcends the boundaries of this world and ushers you into the eternal realms of my unfailing love, your loving Father, who desires none to perish, but all to come to repentance. My dear child, your super thanks powers our divine mission. Click the button to join us in spreading God's message of truth and enlightenment. Receive boundless blessings in return, my beloved. I am bringing you this message today to strengthen and encourage you. I see the unrelenting spiritual attacks you are facing, the unusual hindrances and barriers that appear from nowhere to slow your progress. I see accusers rising up to speak lies, spreading false reports to undermine what I am building through you. Their slander grieves me, but I tell you, do not lose perspective or heart. The very intensity of this opposition signals that breakthrough is imminent. You are on the verge of a major advance of my kingdom, and the enemy is panicking. His resistance always intensifies when my light is poised to break through. I want you to remember who you are, my child. I crafted you with my own hands, stitching together each detail of your personality and giftings. You are an original work of art, not a copy. How it brings joy to my heart to see you fulfilling your purpose, displaying my glory in unique ways. Do not expect your path to look like anyone else's journey. The qualifications I take each of my children through are tailored and personalized. Yours have prepared you well for the assignments set before you. So move forward in confidence. No need to second guess or compare yourself. Keep your eyes fixed on me as you walk out your calling. My opinion of you is all that matters. Anger stirs within me at the sight of the injustices you have faced. The harsh words that break spirits and sow seeds of bitterness are a stark contradiction to their intended purpose. The power of speech, meant to inspire and heal, is too often turned into a tool of hurt and division. In you, however, lies a profound wisdom. In the face of evil, choose to act with kindness Embrace forgiveness even when confronted with acts of spite and cruelty. By pardoning those who wrong you, you rise above and set a higher standard. Such acts of forgiveness, especially under extreme hardship, are the truest form of strength and grace. Thus, let go of minor grievances against you. Offer blessings in place of curses. Steer clear of the poison of bitterness. Leave the matter of justice and retribution to me for these are burdens not meant for you. Rest assured, in the fullness of time, balance will be restored. Rise above every wound of betrayal, through eyes of faith fixed on me. I remain your shelter in life's storms, your strong tower upholding those who take refuge in me. I long to pour out unreasonable favor upon you, even in the midst of opposition. Wait for me with patient endurance. The troubles will pass. My plans and purposes for you stand secure, upheld by my hand. No human schemes can override my intent for you. 
Those who tried to harm you will answer to me. Lift your head high, beloved. Walk forward with dignity and boldness. This is no time for fear or settling for compromise. There is too much at stake. Have I not prepared you for such a time as this? The fields are ripe for harvest, my child. As you give yourself fully to the work I have called you to, be amazed at the acceleration I will bring. My child, click on the Join button to join us as the cherished member of our community. Opposition rises to match the size of the breakthrough promised, so do not be surprised at the intensity of battles ahead. But remember, greater is he who is in you. My power prevails always. Heaven's full force is backing you. No weapon formed against you can hinder what I decree. Each test of your faith results in an increase of glory. Believe in my goodness, dear one. Have confident assurance that I am for you unconditionally. Who can stand against that? Any curse from the fall is reversed in Christ. Sickness and disease must flee at the mention of Jesus' name. Lack and insufficiency dissolve in the light of heaven's provision. Even deepest sorrows and losses will become sources of joy. Those bound in any kind of prison will walk free. The lost will be found. Wholeness shall be the new normal. Goodness and mercy shall pursue you all your days. I will bless you thoroughly so you can turn around and let it overflow freely. You, my precious child, are the light in this world. A city on a hill glowing brighter as darkness descends. The schemes meant to snuff out your light will only make you shine that much farther. What man means for evil, I redirect for good, to save many lives. My purposes prosper through willing vessels. I waste nothing. Even death cannot stop what I start. Soon enough, eternity's revealing light will illuminate all things, and you will understand perfectly. Every puzzle piece will fit together. Give me your weakness. Embrace my strength. Release your limited vision. Receive my eyes to see from heaven's perspective. Pour out your fears at my feet. Be fueled by mountain-moving faith. Abandon yourself fully to me. Take up residence in my promises. Bring me the crumbs of your resources. Watch me feed the multitudes and provide overflow. I have equipped you, anointed you, appointed you. You will never be the same. Your reward will certainly be great, both now and forevermore. Do not lose heart or grow weary. Consider it pure joy when trials arise. They are temporary. Endurance results in maturity and completeness. You are so loved, so empowered, so accompanied by warring angels. The very hosts of heaven fight on your behalf. No weapon can touch you, though storms rage all around. You have my perfect peace to anchor your soul. Now, restore and disciple others from brokenness back to wholeness. Love boldly with my love. Keep your eyes lifted heavenward, for you are seated there with me in Christ Jesus. And remember, though the journey may wind through hardship, all things work together for good for those who love me and are called according to my purposes. You, my precious treasure, are most certainly called and I am intimately committed to ensuring your success. I am your rear guard as well as the lifter of your head. I go before you to clear the way. I am with you to strengthen you and behind you to cover your back. So now, press onward toward the prize of your high calling in me. Run your unique race, marked out for you, with endurance, refusing to quit. Go all in, hold nothing back. Buy up every opportunity to make my love known. Never compromise the original, authentic person I created you to be. Ultimately, it comes down to living in intimacy with me above all else. This is your joy, your privilege, your purpose, union with your God. I have called you to glorify me by bearing fruit that remains. Allow me to prune and cleanse you for greater fruitfulness. Come, feast at my table and drink the new wine of my covenant. One day, you will stand face to face with your Creator and see the beauty of my story from heaven's view. Until then, take courage and stand confidently in who I made you to be.
The forces of heaven stand at your command when you live according to my kingdom purposes. War surrounded David. Yet in me he found peace beyond understanding. Take up the sword of the Spirit, which is my eternal living word. Wield this weapon skillfully through sustained practice and intimacy with me. Its double-edged blade will cut through the enemy's lies effortlessly. Truth dispels darkness every time. Use this God-breathed script to decree promises. Affirm your identity in Christ and declare breakthrough against strongholds. With this sword and my loving presence ever interceding for you, you cannot fail, my precious one. I will bring healing and freedom to multitudes caught in the snares of the enemy. Every prodigal still lost, wandering aimlessly down pointless paths to empty pursuits, will taste my extravagant love through your witness. My passion for souls burns through you. Not one is forgotten when you see them as I do. Sincere compassion will compel you to intercede and act. The godless systems of this world, built upon greed, oppression, and lust for power, will crumble. No authority in the heavens or on earth rivals mine. All thrones and dominions will bow down before the King of kings and Lord of lords. Many lost will be found. I will pour out visions, dreams, angelic visitations confirming my word. And while deceivers abound, my truth prevails. You live in solemn, precarious times as the day draws near. But do not despair or reach for counterfeit comforts. Cling fervently to me alone, and my presence will sustain you. Many wander off the narrow path, chasing temporal things rather than pursuing me. First you, find your joy, purpose, identity fully in me. I hold time and eternity in my hands. My reign shall never end. Through struggle, reliance on me increases. Miracles shine brighter against tumultuous backdrops. My way sometimes leads through dangerous waters, through valley shadows. But my rod and staff protect you. My word lights your path. The shepherd leads his sheep to green pastures by still waters. I restore your soul as you commune with me. My spirit comforts you with songs in the midnight morning into dancing. As truth replaces lies, freedom expands and strongholds shrink. Now rise up in courageous faith to be and do all I have spoken, my child. I speak to you now heart to heart through these words. You find yourself in a season of waiting, a time that may feel stagnant and unproductive. Yet in this waiting, there is profound purpose. The foundation of great things is often laid in silence and obscurity. Do not underestimate the value of these small beginnings. For in my kingdom, it is often the smallest seed that grows into the largest tree. Remember, the temple in Jerusalem was not built in a day. Each stone was carefully placed. Each design meticulously followed. So it is with the work I am doing in you. Every experience, every challenge, Every victory is a stone in the building of your character. Your faith, your destiny. Do not be discouraged by your current circumstances. Even if you find yourself in a place of unemployment or uncertainty. The vision I have given you is not dependent on your current situation. It is I who provides. I who makes a way where there seems to be no way. As you wait, be faithful in the small things, in my kingdom. Faithfulness in the little leads to greater responsibilities and blessings. Trust that I am working in your life, even when it seems like nothing is changing. The path set before you seems impossible. The promise I have given feels so far away. But do not lose hope. I am with you, guiding your steps each day. The work has begun though you cannot yet see the end. Building my temple was no easy task for those who came before. Laying stone upon stone, they struggled under the weight of this calling. Were they fools to start this work, not knowing how it would be accomplished? No, for I was the architect, and I would bring it to completion. Just as I moved through prophets and kings long ago, so now my spirit stirs through you. I am building my dwelling place once more. 
You are my hands. You are my feet. Though the task towers over you like a mighty mountain, though you feel small standing in its shadow, take heart. It will become level ground before me, not by human effort, not by earthly power or wisdom, but by my spirit will my promises be fulfilled. My child, I have placed a dream in your heart, a vision for the work I wish to do. You feel the blueprint burning within, yet day by day, it seems no closer to reality. Unemployment bears down, doubt creeps in. Let me quiet your worries, help is coming. Connections are being made even now behind the scenes, but be wise in discerning who joins you in this labor. Not all who offer assistance build according to my design. Seek those whose hearts are aligned with mine, who want my glory revealed. My child, click on the subscribe button to be part of our community. The time has been set. The new year marks the beginning. Something new is being birthed out of the established order. It will happen suddenly, wind blowing life into long dormant places. Dreams once dead will be resurrected. Passions and talents buried will spring up fresh and strong. Rivers in the wasteland. Such overflowing abundance cannot be explained except by my grace. For all my children feeling stuck and stagnant, take heart. I have not abandoned the work I began in you. Even when nothing seems to change, I am moving, strategizing, preparing. Patience must have its perfect work so that you learn to rely wholly on me. Faith is proven genuine in the uneventful waiting times. Trust the promise I have spoken, though fulfillment tarries long. Soon, you will emerge from this cocoon stage, and dazzling transformation will surprise you in my perfect timing. Not a moment late. Suddenly, swiftly, I will bring it to pass, and all will wonder. Only God could do this. My dwelling place, my temple, is not made of bricks and mortar. It is built of living stones. You are those stones, polished, carved, shaped day by day through adversity and joy. Each one essential, placed according to my wisdom into my holy temple. When all is completed, a holy habitation for my spirit to fill. You will look back at words once spoken over barren grounds and marvel at fruit now growing. That small voice urging you on despite impossibility has led to manifestation beyond imagination. The blueprint and vision first glimpsed in hazy outline has become substantive, solid, real, and all God's children shall shout, Grace, Grace, look what love has built. I receive all glory as the giver, the architect, the builder, and the finisher of every good work begun in you. My living stones, my holy temple, is not yet complete, but I will finish what I have started. I affirm this promise to you, my precious child, not by human might or power, but by my spirit. Believe and see, my child. I know the tediousness of waiting, how each day seems no different than the last. Do not lose perspective. I dwell outside of time. I see the completed work even now. What seems static and dull to you is actually rich with purpose. Consider the farmer who sows a field yet sees no sprouts for weeks. Is the time wasted? No. Under unseen activity, soil transforms. Seed to plant. Hidden growth silently matures until vibrant green bursts forth, announcing harvest. Come my ways are not man's ways. I speak of banqueting tables prepared for you by enemies. I call you to rejoice in suffering. Why? Because my vision is not limited to here and now. I use all things to bring about an ultimately glorious future. Scene by scene, season by season, I write your story. Beware measuring progress by worldly scripts. Here lies the key. Fixing your eyes on me. When I become your constant reference point, identity, security, purpose, and fulfillment, and temporary troubles lose their sting, urgency fades. 
Discontent gives way to rest as you relinquish unrealistic expectations for how I ought to do things. Reach beyond surface interpretations to grasp the deeper spiritual reality I am unfolding. There are intricate connections unseen right now. Refuse doubts hollow lies that I have forgotten you. That circumstances reflect how little you matter to me. That problems imply my ways are flawed. The evil one whispers such deceptions, hoping to unravel my work in you. Dismiss these accusations as the great deceiver's tired scheme to diminish your faith in me. His fate is already sealed. Why credit his campaign of lies? I am redeeming all things. This is my grand vision, beloved. Creation imprisoned by evil, bound by sin's darkness, enslaved by fear and hate. Despite it all, I declare ultimate victory over the powers of hell, death defeated for all eternity. The cross mocks despair's delusions. The open tomb proclaims now in the coming triumph, which no enemy can reverse. I have won the war. I will win each battle. My children walk as light against encroaching darkness. Hope lives on through their perseverance and proclamation of grace. By faith, they partner with me in ransoming this fallen world back under benevolent rule. Though at times the forces against us seem overwhelming, have confidence that greater is he who is in you. The birth pangs do not cease until all things are made new, but take heart. Victory day draws nigh. I am pouring out my spirit on all nations. My glory as endless waters cover the sea. What enemy can stand against this rising tide? I am coming as a triumphant king to claim my blood-bought inheritance. And you, my living stone, chosen to belong to my temple. You will shine as a jewel and torch in the kingdom. Radiant beauty will exalt your offering of humble service. The broken vessel repaired by grace will overflow with a new, thirsty heart. Your whispered prayer of desperation in darkest night will transform into a bold song welcoming dawn's fresh mercy. For now, I say again, courage. Trust my working in hidden moments. Though visible change tarries, rest in my unhurried pace. Though impatience wears at your resolve, hope sees victory through cross-shaped means. Love never fails. Fix here your sight. How I yearn for your eyes to glimpse realities beyond the veil. To perceive the untamed glory and majesty that even angels shield from view. The radiance of my presence overflows with desire that you know, truly know. The extent of my devotion for you, beloved. Cling to this. Evil's seeming gain is but death's last defiant torment before that serpent meets its rightful end beneath my heel. No longer struggle nor travail. Only joy-drenched peace embracing my real purpose for all things. Yes, you will grasp just how essential was the role you played. Hold fast to this while I make all things new. Do not retreat back behind fear's barricade. In the quiet moments when doubts assail and the night seems endless, know that I am fashioning strength within you. The stillness is not emptiness, but a sacred space where my voice echoes clearer. In these silent hours, I am molding your character, refining your faith. In this world of constant change and uncertainty, find solace in my unchanging nature. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My love for you does not waver based on circumstances or time. Amidst the chaos, find your sanctuary in my presence, in me. Find your true north the unerring guide through life's tumultuous journey. Yeah, my plans for you are plans for good, plans to lavish hope, to restore righteousness, to redeem life from sorrow's grasp. Continue leaning hard into me. Continue standing steadfast upon my promises which cannot fail. I shall bring fruitfulness from this agonizing winter. I shall transform tears to laughter, beauty for ashes, my child. Come, sit beside me for a while. I know your spirit grows weary, and your hope flickers low. You have poured out questions, seeking answers to the pain and disappointment that have drained joy's color from your world. Why the adversity? The opposition? The delay of promises once vibrant within you. 
Why has your pathway into purpose been blocked at every turn by circumstances beyond your control? Where are the dreams that once stirred your passion? Why is their momentum slammed against impenetrable walls? No amount of effort can break through. I see you, beloved. I know the anguish of dying visions that once held such life within them. I see the scars from careless words and accusations that struck cruel blows to the tender soul I cradled close. I grieve each time rejections, icy darts or disappointments, bitter arrows pierce one I cherish. Stealing convictions of worth, significance, belonging. When you lose sight of my delight over you, you lose hope's fuel that kindles creative fire. So let us talk, you and I. Lay bare your wounds so I may heal them. Name the losses that have emptied your cup so I may fill it again to overflowing. Cry out the dreams that have died so I may breathe new life into their ashes. Allow me to speak truth to combat the harsh lies you have listened to. You were handcrafted in eternity past, delightfully and purposefully designed. My song still sings over your soul. My dreams still stir within your spirit. My plans for you will not cannot be thwarted. Take down the walls around your heart, brick by brick. Reject thought patterns poisoning your mind, drop by drop. Renew your sense of identity, value, and purpose, day by day. day. As you release these to me, healing will come, wholeness will be restored, and together we will walk into the fulfilling future I ordained long before this world began. Here is truth. Dear one, you came to earth on purpose. Deliberate design, conceived before time itself was breathed into being. Cell by cell, I knit you together. Every detail and gift chosen, I scripted the days of your life before you uttered your first cry. You emerged among humanity as a unique expression of my creativity, starting your journey on paths of divine destiny until cruel voices convinced you did not belong. False narratives said less than unwanted, disqualified. So you made yourself small, though a warrior's heart pined within you, muted, not just stilled songs, but abandoned dreams and callings. My precious child, I weep to see you losing sight of your radiance because others' words dimmed your light. You still glow within, though blanketed in pain's numbing fog. I will fan embers back into flame again. Sink into my delight. Be warmed by my pride in you. I do not make mistakes. Your design was intentional. Dare again to shine unfettered, believing my view that no opinion outweighs mine. I declare you beautiful, whole, treasured as my cherished one. My dreams still stir within you, awaiting your yes. Say the word, uh, take my hand and trust again. I will unravel distortions together until you stand confident in who I say you are. Then, freely, wildly, you will beam blessings bright again. I never stop delighting in you, beloved, even when you stop delighting in your own existence. My loving gaze never ceases, embracing you, even when you pull away, unable to believe one so imperfect deserved unconditional love. And my desire never wavered to see you step boldly again into confident courage and purpose, written for your days before this world was formed. Now, I come to unlock doors once welded shut by words that cursed that crushed, that told you someone else to find your worth. I come with hope to wake the dreams again, stoke dying embers back into fiery passion. I come to align your perception back to truth. I speak identity, belonging, and purpose over you. Listen to me, to truth, not to deception that muzzled your voice, stunted your growth and benched you from adventures I designed to bring your soul satisfaction. You don't end where criticism began. There are no limits to what I can do in a yielded vessel. It is time to unlock gifts stored for too long in winter's freeze. It is time to sing the song buried in your soul again. It is time to laugh without restraint. It is time to embrace your divine design again, my child. Let us linger here a moment to see beneath life's churning currents. In stillness, 
perspective shifts. Loss may prepare unseen blessings. Winter nurtures spring's awakening. You felt abandoned in obscurities, lonely night awaiting a long-delayed promise. My plan for your life holds goodness, purpose, hope. Will you walk with me into unknown places on paths I alone foresee, in quiet surrender? You cultivate soul space to resonate with heaven's frequency, attuning your vision with mine. By faith, embrace this season. Let delayed appointments prepare you richly for destiny, awaiting unveiled. Deeper lessons take root through patient waiting that launches you further. Let go rush and strain. My rhythms require so rest as much as diligent labor. What I ordain unfolds on time, perfectly fashioned through loss, lack, and long deferred hope. The greater the hunger developed in parched ground, the greater the bounty once floodgates open to quench thirst at last. You have what's required within to weather wilderness. Together we will tend the dormant orchard until harvest. Consider the seed, how it rests dormant for a time before explosive growth beneath nurturing care. Or little ones born in proper season, who must wait through years of nurture and development before moving into life's sweeter freedoms. There are appointments on destiny's calendar that cannot be rushed, processes that cannot be sidestepped, preparation essential to uphold you through future toils. Strength will fail if it has not been tested. Stamina grows through resistance overcome. So I allow the waiting, the obscurity, the wondering why. My beloved, your most powerful work emerges from the pit. Perhaps current landscapes feel devoid of purpose, numbingly monotonous. Perhaps you perceive this season as delay, denying talent's expression. But what if a quiet winter nurtures you for abundance unveiled in due season? Consider the deeper work taking root beneath frozen ground. While you await breakthrough in one realm, I am preparing you for breakthrough in another. Trust my timing. Trust my plan. Trust my heart for you. My love knows no bounds. My faithfulness endures forever. I am with you in the waiting, in the wondering, in the uncertainty. Lean into my embrace. Find rest for your soul. For I am the God who makes all things new. The God who brings beauty from ashes. The God who turns mourning into dancing. Though the night may seem long, joy comes in the morning. Trust in me. My child, for I hold your future in my hands. Walk with me through the seasons of life. For I am the God who goes before you, the God who walks beside you, the God who holds you close. In quiet surrender, in patient waiting, in unwavering faith, you will see my promises fulfilled. For I am the God of all creation, and my plans for you are plans for good. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in me, and I will make your path straight. I develop richer layers in you so that you can withstand the accelerated responsibility. Coming growth unfolds according to my seasons. Not yours, but take heart. Spring always follows winter. Light perpetually conquers darkness. Your tears summon joy's arrival soon. Here is a sacred exchange awaiting you, the ashes for beauty, the spirit of despair for garlands of praise, instead of mourning. Broken things made whole, even barrenness awash in life's fullness soon. Are you listening for my voice calling you higher, deeper, away from smallness into expansive possibility? Beloved, nothing is beyond the reach of my redemption. No one too soiled for merciful restoration and no mortal words carry enough power to revoke what I have destined for your days. You emerged among humanity wrapped in divine belonging. Stand now. It is time to reclaim the identity given from the foundations of the earth, significant, seen, and cherished. I am unlocking that door once welded shut by words intended to crush. Just as I protect a flickering wick and nourish it to vibrant flame again, I shield your soul and fan into full stature dreams temporarily deferred. I know the way through this valley of shadows. 
I go before you to prepare the brighter, broader vista still obscured from view. But your eyes will soon adjust to astonishing revelation of new vistas filled with possibilities you had not dared to hope. Still lay before you the wastelands. Gray monochrome landscapes soon yield to destiny's vast horizons shimmering in full dimensions of color. The desert blooms with life's varied hues and textures. My love specifically chose for you. Listen for my voice singing over your soul, beloved. Drown out blaring false claims that cannot silence the shout of truth declaring you belong to me. Let broken dreams become seedbeds for longings now blossoming into maturity. Long prepared for, I make dead things live again. Beauty rise from ash heaps, water and life burst forth from parched ground, and fruit ripen slowly into exotic sweetness in rich dew season. You shall soon taste at last, my precious child. Take comfort in this, your winter is passing. The wastelands fade as destiny's horizons shimmer into view at last. What once seemed dormant stirs with new life beneath nurturing care. My declaring your worth rings louder, drowning out words that crushed you already wear victory's crown as my beloved, chosen to display my glory. Now lift your eyes, expectant, and believe. Your moment is coming, my child. The view ahead will leave you breathless with awe. Let your spirit soar confident on those wings of purpose I fashioned long ago just for you, my beloved child. I see the questions that burn in your heart, the longings that remain unfulfilled. You wonder why the journey has been so arduous, why the waiting feels interminable. But I ask you to trust in my timing, to believe that I am working even when you cannot perceive it, just as a seed must break open and push through the dark soil before it can bask in the sunlight, so too must you endure the breaking and the pushing before you can fully step into the destiny I have prepared for you. The process may be painful, but it is necessary for the growth and strength that will sustain you in the future. I know the weariness that comes from hope deferred, from dreams that seem to wither on the vine, but I am the God who brings life from death, who causes streams to flow in the desert. I am not finished with your story yet. The chapters ahead will be filled with the manifestation of my goodness and faithfulness in your life. Even now, I am aligning circumstances and people to support the fulfillment of my plans for you. I am orchestrating connections and opportunities that you cannot yet see. Trust that my hand is guiding each step, even when the path feels uncertain. In the face of opposition and setbacks, remember that I am your defender and your advocate. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. I will vindicate you and bring forth your righteousness as the noonday sun. Do not allow the opinions or criticisms of others to define you. Your worth and value are found in me alone. I have called you by name, and you are mine. I delight in you and rejoice over you with singing. My love for you is not based on your performance or achievements, but on the fact that you are my beloved child. As you navigate this season of waiting and preparation, fix your eyes on me. Spend time in my presence, allowing my word to renew your mind and strengthen your faith. Surround yourself with those who will encourage and support you in your journey. And when the doubts and fears arise, bring them to me. I'm not afraid of your questions or your struggles. I invite you to pour out your heart before me, knowing that I am a safe haven and a firm foundation. I will exchange your ashes for beauty, your mourning for joy, and your despair for hope. Hold fast to the promises I have spoken over your life, for they will surely come to pass. Keep moving forward in obedience and faith, even when the way seems unclear. I am leading you step by step into the fullness of your destiny. And in the end, when you look back on this season, you will see how every trial and every delay was woven together for your good and for my glory. You will see the beauty that I brought forth from the ashes, and you will rejoice in the faithfulness of your God. So take heart, my precious one. I am with you. I am for you. 
and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Your story is not over yet. The best is still to come. Amen. My child, click on the subscribe button to be part of our community.